Let's look at creating some simple text, just like this here in DaVinci Resolve. So we'll go ahead and stop that. And we'll recreate this clip that rises up. All right, let's just go ahead and delete that and we'll start right from the beginning. So first we need our text tool. So head to effects library. We want titles and let's just stick with the standard text tool. All right, very simple for this first uh, look at text. Just drop it right onto an empty portion of the track. Okay, as you can see, it just says title by default. We can make this longer or shorter, whatever we want. Five seconds is good enough for us. So select it and open your inspector right in here under text is where we enter our title. So let's go ahead and type in rain in June. Well, not Jubin, I don't, don't know what that is. Rain in June. Now, if I had another line, say part one, I could use our alignment down here to align that however I want. But let's just keep this really uh, simple. For now, let's go ahead and change the text here. Type in C because I want Century Gothic, which is one of the best texts out there. I want this to be bold. We can change the color in here if we want, but white is fine for us. Change the size, tracking, all kinds of stuff in here. And I can always reset it with this little circle arrow there. So the rest of this stuff we're gonna leave alone for now. We can rotate it if we want, but we don't uh, want any of that. Just control Z out of that. And let's go ahead and use our drop shadow here. It's already turned on, color's black. Change our offset here and about like that looks good. Blur it up and that looks good. You can put a stroke around it, which is like an outline, but we don't need that. I'm just gonna turn it off and put a background on it. But again, we don't need that for this simple text, okay. So I can head in here and I can just grab it, move this around. I can turn on my transform overlay. I can move this around directly in the viewer here. And also we can grab this and resize it. We can also head over here to video. Let me turn that off. And we can zoom in, zoom out or scale it up and down and change our position directly in here as well. And as you can see, we can also keyframe this stuff in here and we can keyframe some stuff over here as well. But let's just put this in position right now, over here and right about there. Looks good to me. All right, close down the inspector and see what we have. All right, looks okay. Just coming directly on screen there. But if I had this clip a little bit further in and we play this back, just pops on screen, not what we want. We want it to rise from the bottom or from the side or something like that. Now you might notice this line here, a red line that turns blue. Make sure you have up here in playback, make sure you have your render cache set to smart or user. So that way it renders that clip. Once it gets to blue, we know it's rendered. So what we can do is we could use say a video transition and we could say just a simple cross dissolve right on there and play that. Of course it fades in for us, get rid of that one. We could do something like a slide, have it slide in. Okay, adjust the speed of that. All right, but we're gonna do this uh, manually. So head back up to our inspector, head over here to video. And I want this to be on screen at about this position right here. So park my playhead right there. And if you watch the intro to keyframing video, you probably know how to do this. Go ahead and turn on my keyframe for my position. That's the only one we want to a keyframe. We could do zoom as well, but let's just do position and pull it back to the beginning. And I'm gonna pull the Y down and there we go. Play that back, comes right on screen. Then we can fade it out that or we could use a cross dissolve or anything else that we want we'll just fade it out though so that looks pretty good all right cool so that is setting up some simple text here in davinci resolve and adding some animation with keyframes or of course with our transitions